Then uh, Deputy Sean Kine has the next question. Uh, Corner, uh, Minister. I'm here again, I was here on the 9th of October 2014 on the same issue, I think we're all sitting in the same seats, uh, regarding the Clare Galway drainage scheme, and at the time you stated that uh, the Clare Galway scheme is the first flood relief scheme submitted for confirmation following, following the coming into effect of the 2012 regulations, which require the Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform to carry out an environmental impact assessment of drainage or flood relief schemes prior to confirmation or approval to the proposed schemes. Uh, this hasn't taken place, Minister, as far as I can see, the circuit, there's no confirmation that has taken place, I'm wondering what. What directly? What, what is the delay in this on this project? And for raising this and for his persistence on what is, I know, a very important matter. I can confirm to the deputy that the Clare River drainage scheme, in direct answer to his question, will be proceeding. The Office of Public Works, in association with Galway County Council, has developed a flood relief scheme under the Arterial Drainage Acts for the Clare River, um, in the environs of Clare Galway. In recognition of the significant flooding problems in the area, it was agreed to proceed with interim measures to reduce flood risk, and in 2012, during the lifetime of this government, the following remedial works were carried out in advance of the main scheme works. They were the construction of a flood eye at Clare Galway Bridge and the construction of a new bridge at Crescini. These advance works have been successfully completed at a cost of €2.5 million. Euro. While they have significantly reduced flood risk in the area, they do not provide the OPW standard level of protection that the overall scheme will provide, which is to protect protect against the one in 100 year flood event. A public exhibition of the Clare River scheme was held, as the Deputy be well aware, in late 2012, and stakeholders were afforded an opportunity to send in their observations on the scheme proposals. A number of responses were received, including a detailed submission by the Department of Arts, Heritage and the Gaeltacht in relation to nature conservation and underwater archaeology aspects of the proposed works. The issues raised were considered fully by the OPW, where necessary, with in-depth technical input from environmental consultants, and were addressed where appropriate. The proposed scheme was subsequently approved by the Office of Public Works and was submitted to the Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform in late 2013 for confirmation, in other words, for the statutory approval. Um, regulations were introduced across a number of government departments in 2012 in order to ensure that Ireland was fully compliant with European Union environmental impact assessment laws. These regulations introduce necessary changes to the EIA consent systems of these departments, and in the case of flood relief schemes carried out under the Arterial Drainage Acts, the regulations require that the Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform, as a consent authority for such schemes, undertakes an independent assessment of the EIS with the scheme documents by the OPW under the confirmation process. The Minister is also required to publish his decision decision to confirm or not to confirm a scheme and to provide for a process of appeal of his decision. Thank you, Mr. Galway scheme was the first scheme um, under, under such a process. And um, I'll, I'll respond further with more detail then. Deputy Sean Kine. Thank you. Thank you, Minister, for the, for the reply. Um, you know, th th this information is the same as, 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 as a year ago. And as you stated there, and I, I stated in my introduction, the Clare Galway scheme was the first one that was uh, had to be approved under the new regulation um, under the, the EU directive, which presumably means that no flood relief scheme has, 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 a, has proceeded in the interim period, because they're all waiting this. So, you know, I mean, people are, 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 are exasperated by the whole thing. I mean, the money is there. We're told the money is there. It's in the capital plan again. It was there this time last year. It was, it was, it was, uh, it's been announced over and over. It was announced by your predecessor uh, previously. So people are wondering what, what is the delay? When are these going to be approved? Um, is this going to be the, the, the scenario for all future release schemes? Is there going to be a couple of years delay? Or, or, or are you still trying to fine-tune a template in how these are approved? Do you have to approve the existing EIS? Or do you have to, does your does the department have to, to have to carry out their own EIS? I know there was some confusion about that last year, so I'm wondering, has that been decided? Thank you. Minister? It is quite correct. As a result of this being the first one, I think it is fair to say that the Clare Galway scheme has taken longer than one would envisage or one would ever wish for it to be taken. And we are, and um, we have already consulted with the Office of the Attorney General in relation to putting in place an adequate, streamlined, and efficient system to deal with this. But there is news for the deputy that is different to last year. I can confirm to the deputy that the process in the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform will be completed in the month of October. And um, so we, we are moving towards a finalisation of that evaluation. And I would acknowledge, as I say, that Clare Galway, as being the first scheme, not only was it important to evaluate that scheme, but also obviously it does put in place the template for other schemes and indeed lessons uh, to be learned in relation to other schemes. Following completion of the confirmation process by the Minister for the, uh, Public Expenditure and Reform, and assuming obviously that that is a positive decision and allowing the necessary time for Deeper to inform the public of the Minister's decision, the OPW will be in a position to commence works on the scheme in a matter of weeks, subject to works being carried out within environmental windows 
windows and satisfying any preconditions which may be attached to the confirmation process and the total budget last Gangorla, for the scheme when VAT and future cost fluctuations are taken into account is 7.1 million which includes approximately the 2.5 million which I've already um, outlined thank you. that has been expended. Deputy Sean Kine. Uh, thank you Minister and thank you for that uh, positive statement in relation that the process will be completed in the month of October. Uh, can you, uh, in terms of the process being completed, when is it likely then that a decision will be made? How long would that take, I wonder? And certainly, you know, when, when we consider the, the, the major capital announcement and capital investment plan announced in the, in the capital plan this week, which is certainly very, very welcome, you know, I wouldn't like to think that these delays uh, would, 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 would ensue in other projects as well, because, I mean, it's very um, important under the CFRAMS program in relation to the investment that was announced in the capital plan uh, that these things are expedited as quickly as possible within environmental uh, requirements and legislation. Uh, but certainly, uh, delays like this... Uh, um, you know, they, 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 what, what can be good news stories and uh, what can be something that provides uh, relief and assurance to people can sometimes be, 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 be negated by delays. So I'm just uh, in, in light of the capital plan. Uh, Thank you, Minister. You know. To conclude. I, I, I largely agree with the Deputy. It is important that we have systems in place to deal speedily with these. It's also important, though, that the State makes sure it carries out everything, as you've said, in accordance with the law and that we do meet our European commitments in relation to environmental law. Um, I am pleased to be able to update you on the significant progress that has been now made in relation to Clare Galway. The capital plan that was announced by my colleague Minister Howland this week will ensure that this government has pledged to spend over the next five years on flood relief more than was ever spent in the combined 20 previous years and I do think that shows the commitment of government. It is also just worth putting on the record of the House that maintenance works have also been carried out on the Clare River and the OPWE employed two long-reach machines to remove a build-up of silt uh, from the bend of the channel on both sides of the banks of the Clare River from Loch Corrib, uh, working upstream towards the Crescini Bridge and this work, I'm informed, has been substantially completed. So I can assure the Deputy that as soon as, um, as, soon as the process is completed in the Department, uh, the Minister has assured me there will be no delay on his end nor on my end, and we're eager for this scheme to progress as quickly as possible. And I can reiterate that the funding is absolutely in place.